G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. As you can see by the title, we are looking at the Lamb Fettuccine. And what I'll do is because I transferred it out of the main packs into these smaller bags, so I'd have more room in my pack, is I'll put a picture up of the front of the first package, or the main package of the came out of and also the back and then leave it there for five ten seconds or even just pause so you can read whatever you want to read on it. Now this is a lamb fettuccine. So what I've done is I've written the name of the meal, how much water is needed and how much time for it to soak. Now because I've taken it out of the bag I'm gonna to have to rehydrate it in my pot. And some of you might think Okay, 10-15 minutes is going to go cold. Well, yeah, it would do, but all I'll do is I'll heat it up over here and stir it until it's warm again, if need be. So, it's a lamb fettuccine. It's 188 millilitres of water needed, which is three quarters of a cup. And they say leave it to stand for 10-15 to 15 minutes, stirring it roughly every five minutes. Uh, make sure you get right down in the corners if you're doing it in the bag like down in the corners where you've got to pull it apart because inside it actually curves up and you've got pieces coming down the side so make sure you get right in there to get it all out so what I'll do is I'll heat up the 188 millilitres now I've got 200 millilitres because every single one of these I've found if I go by what they say it's just a little bit too dry for me so I'm just going to bring it up to the 200 and hopefully that extra 12 mil will give me the consistency I want and if not I'll just add some more water in and heat it up again a little bit more. So I'll leave that to boil and when it's boiled I'll put the contents of the lamp fettuccine into the hot water, give it a quick stir, leave it to sit for 5 minutes, I'll give it another stir, I'll leave it to sit for 5 more minutes, then I'll What's that? Is that 10 or 15? Anyway, I'm going to give it a total of 15 minutes because I've always had to give it a little bit longer as well to make sure it actually rehydrates. Because a lot of the time I've had it to be 10, 12 minutes and it's still been a bit dry. So, but I'll fast forward the video now into the next stage. I'm going to take you off, just fast forward a bit, I'm going to show you where I am. Where I am is the shelter called Possum Springs. You can see that. Oh no, there is Possum Springs. And that's on the Bibbulmun track in Western Australia. So let's give you a twirl around so you can see. And the big one track is, as you can see, a bush walk. And it is beautiful out here. So if you live in Western Australia or anywhere else in the world, and you get the chance and you love your hiking and walking, this is a track you should be on. It's just over a thousand kilometers in length. So let's set this back down. Water's boiled, so let's put, pour all the contents of the bag in there. Well, I don't know personally, but if anybody else knows, can you just pour boiling water in these? Because I have sandwich bags. Let me know. Let me pour water, boiling water in so it doesn't leak out and melt. I might get somebody to say, yeah, you can pour it in. And what I mean is, it'll leak out and melt. I run 114 
So it's going to give that stirring. Just stirring it, it doesn't smell too bad. It's got a fairly nice smell to it. Let's put the lid on. Where are we at the moment? 115. Oh. Yeah, so it'll be 120, won't it? I've now finished stirring it. That's going to be my rubbish bag for the rest of the walk. I'm out for four days. I'm finish, finishing off down to Collie. <laughs> Five minutes, let's give it another stir. You can see that that's how much it's rehydrated in just five minutes. This one's looking like a good one. And it's still feeling hot. But five more minutes. I think it's to one twenty five. Fill in the track logbook. Well, that's still rehydrating. Pardon me. That's uh, ten minutes. Give it a stir, and I may try this one because it looks quite good. Now, first of all, I'll try a big piece of lamb. Now it's going to need a little bit longer. will do is just warm it up gently at the same time. What I may do is make a little cosy for this to insulate it. Low. Already sizzling. It's not waste any.
Oh, nice and flat now. Nice and thin. What's that? 12 and a half minutes. An extra couple of minutes and reheating it to try another bit of meat. Mm. It's done the job. It is hot. And so far, burnt it to the bottom of the pot. So I've got some green beans there and the pasta and the meat. Let's try it all. Mm. So the pasta has rehydrated really nice and yeah there's a slight saucy covering it all saucy slight sauce coating it all it's not try another bit it's not um not something I'd write home about I think one of the sayings is it's not the best but it's not the worst another way of putting it, it's not something I'd say I like but it's not one I dislike it's one of those where you're not sure Could I eat it all? Yeah, I can. I just feel it coming down, warming up. It's just getting a bit chilly now, so I'm close to putting my jacket on to keep them warm. Let's give it another stir. Let's see if I missed anything. I'd say that's an, that's an okay one. It's not my cup of tea, but it is an okay meal. It's good enough to eat, especially after the day's walk. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you haven't been down and subscribed, please go down below and click on the subscribe bet, uh, button. Click on the notification bell and all, so you can be notified of all future videos. Click on the like button and share it with your mates and family. And if you are already a subscriber and done all that, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.